three yellows, a green, and two purples, I believe that should be then. Yep. Guess what I'm spending. Another dark side jet? Yep. I've been hoarding them. Hey, I actually hit. Um, hey, let's... What does the advantage do for me? Uh, Lower lost... one strain, add a boost to your next allied person. Notice a single important point in the ongoing conflict, such as location of blaster doors, control panel, hey, or weak point. That's a good idea, user. actually, that last one. Oh, yeah, I'll look for a weak point, I guess. Um, no, the last one I was thinking more along the lines of, uh, hey, is it dodging towards the front of the vehicle? Because I'm still <laughs> in the vehicle. Yeah, I like to tell you, is he, he's, you're moving the combat slowly towards the front. Not quite there right, yet. That works. Yeah. Because <clears throat> uh, if you move it there, I'm right. I'm in the car. I'm in the uh, cockpit. Do you just, really just want casually to... just? Oh, also that was uh, Pierce one. Oh, so oh yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 Remember, <laughs> Pier Pierce is not actually automatically added. No. But I've added it now. All right. Kalibev goes next. Okay. Dibs he after that. He engages, so that's Calibav his maneuver. Kalibev rips his arms off. And, um... His own arms off? That's impressive. Yeah, I'm going to spend a light side point. Okay. I'd, light side point. And I have one setback and two blue, two purples, right? Yep. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. No damage, uh, but uh, you did get enough uh, advantages. Yeah, you yeah, got free advantage there. Yeah. Keep you can rip forward. his arm off. No, he didn't get five. five. I know. Yeah, I mean, I actually didn't hit, so otherwise, otherwise yeah. I'd be able to actually crit this damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just, I suppose I'll just keep spending, I'll spend all that advantage to pushing it towards the front. Okay, I'll say one more advantage like that and he'll be in front of the guns. You're driving it back. To be fair, no one's manning the gunnery station anymore. I am. You are? <laughs> okay. I'm still in the... I'm, I'm sitting there with a beer watching you guys fight this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at the, car, at the, uh, the gunnery station going, Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I <laughs> might as well spend yep. a... Light side chit on this. Yep, I'm going to spend a dark side right back. Noise, so that makes it. What difficulty, sorry? Um, if you use the chit after you've already put the dice in the pool, it'll do it automatically. Mm. All right. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be two difficulty. One red. I'm going to put a setback because there's so many hand hand guys around me. Right. So. Yeah. One oh, red, God. one purple, uh, one black. Yep. There actually are rules for that if you want me to look those up. Uh, yeah, but for now I'll just use the setback. Uh, As always, filing in a melee is always a pain in the rear. Well, yeah. it's fire. Uh, yeah. Nope. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. So apparently I'm the only one that can shoot. So, yeah. Let's see. Opponent may perform one free maneuver. Add boost to the targeted characters next. Check. I'm going to make it... Yeah, I'm probably going to take that. Yeah, in fairness, I did roll no failures. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to take that, you know, it's just basically... It, you, your shot causing to duck behind the people in close combat. Okay, so Anta, Atom, Cargo Driver, and Cal Calculon are still up. Uh, wondering what Calcion could do besides using his his dinky little holdout pistol. Dinky little holdout he pistol. Could get the, the he could get the ground crew um, to come help us. Actually, the holdout pistol will do one well two points of damage minimum to this guy, so you can still hurt him. Calcion will strike a pose, pull out his pistol in a gunslinger fashion, and attempt to fire at the the monster. Right. What's the, uh, what's the, um, dread, what's, okay, what's the rolling thing on this? Uh, one red, one purple. One red, one purple? Really? Purple. purple. Really, Gray? Purple. I mean, red. Purple. One red, one purple, yep. Yeah. I'm burning yeah, these yeah. dark side shits. 
Well, honestly, honestly, if you're in close range, that's exactly what would happen. Normally, yeah. you'd only be one purple, but. All right, yeah. can I do a can I do a light side hit right back? Yep. Because you know. And the and the setback as well for shooting. Oh, didn't oh, matter. Oh, so let me get the. I forgot to get the setback. Sorry. Yeah, just roll that separate. Nothing. Nothing. No. So one success and one bit of threat. So that's two pew, points pew. of damage. Pew pew pew. Oh, uh, you actually don't have your uh, battle yeah. thing set. How should you fire that? Hmm? You, you probably just double click the skill. Weapon. Yeah. So what you should do is you go to the combat tag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you roll that, it does all the damage for you. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let me re roll that then. Uh, no, it's fine. All right. All right, who's up next? It's the same thing. We, you yeah. just have to figure out the yeah, We need a dark itself. side chit, or we need a chit again, because he just reused a chit. Sorry. Right. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to step up, take a, take a maneuver to aim, which gives me another boost. Yeah. And then, uh, are you going to spend a dark side, or? Of course I am. Oh, so I just face, are you called John? No, I'm John. My character in this is John. For my my server thing has been John for like a long ass time. Uh, Sorry. Uh, it's cool. I am John, by the way. Oh. Wait. Anyway. Ooh, there we go with the critical. And a, a triumph. Out. So yeah, you can roll me a critical if you want. Light blaster okay. pistol. Does it have any uh, any first pierce? One. Take the first one. Nah, like it's a, a lot of the it's pierce is the anyway. super heavy weapons or the melee weapons, mm -hmm. or heavily it's modded. It's not so dead yet. That's thirty-eight. Wait, actually, it should put it at twenty-one. It's sting oh, wait, no. stinger. Increased. Uh, it's been stung, so it's got increased the difficulty. It's next check by one. So, this thing is big and mean. Yeah. Right. Cargo driver, it's not quite in front of you guns yet. So, we're going to do. Not quite, no. I mean, if you made like a five difficulty check, you could probably pick the vehicle up and land on it. <laughs> oh, God. That's. Okay. Think about how many of us are. <laughs> <laughs> are <on> the... <laughs> Right next yeah, to Yeah, I it. don't feel like crushing my allies just yet. That'd be where you want to My sudden uh, yet inevitable betrayal will uh, come later, not second session. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um. Thinking. What can I do? Like, could I basically just set my. Uh, could I aim, basically, for where yeah. it might. Where, where it will first end up being if they push it forward enough? Yeah, you can aim. Aiming is right, a free so action yeah. in this. Yeah. Well, it's a maneuver. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we go back onto the top. Also, All right, HK, shoot it. Looking at the God, crit table you. on this just makes me think, like, wow. You look at only but Wall's I crit table; it's just like every other system is just lightweight. I mean, what's I should pick up my this? gun as a maneuver. Yeah. What, what's the page number for that? Uh, it's 231 of the Age of Rebellion. And I've rolled dice for no reason. Sorry about that. So. Yeah, you can get your gun from Maneuver. <laughs> Look like okay. a mindless beast. Yeah. Uh, is it still engaged with me or is it engaged with the Gand? It's, it's the, they've you know? pushed it back now. Okay. I don't think I get a second Maneuver if I want to shoot still, though. Uh, you, you can take a second Maneuver however... You will have problems because you take a uh, strain for that. I can take strain. Yeah. My threshold is 12 normally. It's two points, isn't it? Yeah, it's two points of strain every time you take your second maneuver. Okay. So we're going to do that so I can do a true aim. So I've got normal dice, true aim, upgrades one of them. Uh, it's still a purple and a, or is it two purples or a purple and a red right now? Uh, I'll spend the destiny point just trying to keep this thing along alive a little so, longer. Purple, red, and a black setback. Uh, yeah. Just because it's surrounded by. And you know, I get my boost. 
Because yeah. true aim. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and light side it. Which didn't seem to do anything. Uh, Remember on when we thing? only had two chits? Yeah. I guess I just need to add a green. Yeah. Remember yeah. when we used to have one shit? <laughs> this, this is there what, we this go. why this guy's still in the fight, though. There you go. Now, now my dice look correct. Yeah. Go, dice. And murder. Yeah, that's murder. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that thing is dead. Yeah, that. Yeah, your bolt drills into its skull and it falls over. This is why I have the big gun. Because I know how to use it. This is also why you have nothing else, because you spent it all on the big gun. Please note, this gun literally cost all of the money you can start with. You well, cannot no, possibly you can start, start with more. It's wow. just, we only we had the limit of five extra. Yes. How much yeah. obligation do you have? This, um, He's on ten. I have, yeah, I have ten obligation. Oh dear. Wait, so that gun cost 2,500. No, it cost fifteen hundred. No. Yeah, that's why I was saying. You start off with two hundred and fifty. Start with more, but you can't yeah. really. You start with five hundred. Five hundred? Yeah. 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 All right. Five hundred. Well, it cost him almost everything. It regardless. did cost no, no, everything. literally everything. Literally everything. Oh yeah. I own a what gun a... and nothing else. Well, you are a robot. It's a big gun, though. <laughs> like, so this. This is the gun that they would emplace at place er, uh, and use as a defensive weapon. Is that an E-Web, essentially? No, um, it's a it's, heavy blaster rifle. It's the mobile E-Web. It's essentially the blaster rifle equivalent to a sniper rifle. Yeah. yeah. Except that well, it has no, a lot of fire, fire too. Well, no, no, there is a blaster rifle, sniper rifle. Yeah, you see some troopers with it on Tatooine. Oh, God, we are nerds. Uh, as a note, as a note, I kind of want to get one because if I get that, then my uh, stupid range gets even more ridiculous. Right. So, um, a solace is going to run, roll over to you, run up to you in a um, major's uniform. So, phew, I haven't seen flying like that since Rick Tord's first navigated the northern canyons. Could really use pirates and gunners like you around here. Those creatures you ran into are bigger than nasty lizards no, no, normally seen around the canyons. What if they picked up on the same interference that we saw here over at CNC? So, who are you guys? Um, Caleb Late immediately rock. introduces himself, although unfortunately, unless he understands Wookiee, it just sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> just out of the uh, speakers, they, you hear this really drunk. <laughs> um, my good sir, we are um rebel teams. We are one of the rebel teams. Uh, we were previously at Alderaan, where we used to be where Alderaan was. It was one of our hookups before uh, our next objective point, but it turns out it's not there anymore. And so we what, came to what, the closest place. What do you mean? What do you mean it's not there anymore? Would you like to see your? Would you like to see the data uh, from our scanners? Or from our uh, visual ports. What Major, mean? my name is Rana, and I'm a courier for the Rebels. It is vital that I speak to command as soon as possible. Okay. Um, follow me. So he's going to uh, lead you between the base? Yeah. I sort of make a motion to the other guys, like, maybe don't mention Alderaan yet. Oh. It's a bit late for that. Yeah. You so, see, Calculon is good at blurting things out. Calculon does not have a restraining bolt. <laughs> yes. To be fair, neither does HK99. HK99 I, is not trusted with information like what just happened to Alderaan. I'm pretty sure he knew. I, I think the but I think the, the but HK99 of is an assassin droid. I he think knows the, how to not talk. <laughs> But the disappearance of Alderaan is kind of hard to hide. HK99 is just jealous of the guy who pulled the laser trigger's kill count. He's never going to get that high. Yeah. That was he only like to get, eight. Though. He wants to get him one of those space stations. Alright. 
Okay, so you're. I wonder what the population of Alderaan was. A lot. Yeah, several billion. I mean, essentially, the, honestly, the Empire doing that really is like, you know, any legitimacy you had, yeah, you just kind of openly so, massacred billions of people to make a point. So the Alderaan quote has from Wikipedia is that Coruscant is the heart of the Empire, but that Alderaan is its soul. Yeah. Alderaan is basically Earth. Nice job, doofuses. You just blew up Earth. So, it will led through the base. You know, the population and everything. Uh, be right back. Okay. No. Um, you come back right now, mister. <laughs> well, that's the base. <laughs> yep. I was just saying mm-hmm. we came back quickly. Um, so, it's obviously cut into the uh, the rock in this canyon. Uh, you seem to have landed in uh, a, dis- a hangar. Around you are several um, like starships. Um, it's kind of an odd mix. There's some A-wings, uh, some sn- um, Z-95s, and then a bunch of uh, speeders. <gasps> A-wings! Yay. Yes. A wings are pretty much the single coolest things. I know yeah. they may be a little out of time for this, but I'm going to run with it. Thrill seeker, A wing. <laughs> Thrill seeker, A wing. Big <laughs> beaming grin. So you're <laughs> taken into the command station. Um, there, there are three base commanders, one of which looks like she's uh, arrived relatively quickly. And um, back. You're introduced to senior advisor Satana Hayes, um, human, a Ran Nail, uh, who's the general for the base, also human, and finally uh, Commander Danel Corral. Um, Juros, I think? Yeah, a Juros. So you've got um, female Senate. Um, Advisor, male general, and Dura, male Duros. Um, so, um, also in the room are several other like men. Uh, you know, people in the background with their you know commands. They kind of feel like, well, one of them goes up and fuck you, bar, and just kind of hands uh, back there. Uh, great. Yeah. How posh is this exactly? This yes. is pretty damn run down. This is. It's a well-established base. No, I mean the people. How posh are they? Are they like, uh, are they really uptight and? Um, the general, you'd say, middle class. Uh, sorry, the senior advisor looks middle class. The general has got the bearing of you know proper military. Um, the Juros is quite hard to tell. All right, because I was walking in picking my nose. <laughs> Right, set back for you. I think we kind of just expect that from you. <laughs> yeah, we do. I mean, These people don't. I mean, I'm, I've still got the gun strapped to my back. Like, it just magnetically attaches to my back. You have a slot for it, that's what. <laughs> it slides in. It goes away and no one knows where it went. Or how the giant gun that is bigger than most people vanished. It's so, like a mass effect gun, it collapses down. Whilst these lot are being gross, <laughs> I will hand the, like, I'll hand over a slate of all the data I collected on order on and just go, this needs sending to command data, immediately. Data pad. They're data pads yeah. in Star Wars. Data slates is 40k. I was trying to think if they do like data sticks, like USB. No, sort of they things. they do data cards. Yes. So think like an SD card. Is there a word that sci-fi will not stick data in front of and expect no. you to think it's? No. There was a robot called. Remember, there was a robot called, just called Data. That was, he an, was Android. an Android. It just is not the same. Right. Um, they're going to kind of look at that and say, uh, okay, we'll get, we'll review this and get back to you. If you just kind of wait over there. You, you, uh, you might want to review it now. Yeah, they're going to review it now. 
But looking at the time, it's probably a good place to end this. Probably. That was a long yeah. conflict. Yeah. Well, that's the running the goal. Combined with the technical issues. Yeah. So I think I think I actually know what my next specialization has to be, considering where my character is going with just being generally awesome at everything. What? Whichever the specialization is, specialization is for being a gunner. Uh, oh. I think that's an ace one. Yeah, you that's can gonna pick up cost. Oh yeah, no, well, I know it's going to toss a metric ton of experience. So yes, you can pick it up from other. Yeah, only thirty. Yeah. you can pick it up from other classes. Classes. Yep. But it In fact, would yeah, make it is sense. literally called gunner. Yeah, but it would make sense for my character after this session. And seeing what he did. Right. Alrighty. So, you've arrived. And, yep. Yeah, that'd be a good place to end. Yeah. You gotta figure out what are we gonna do next. Oh, it's okay. I'm running this out on Revenge Grey module. Knows. Oh, dear. This is basically to give me a bit... This is basically to get you guys a bit more established. Yeah, uh, if you, if you and also because that was the only way we could get to a base without having to make one up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's basically nah, it's a good. Sense. It, it's a you know, it's actually I've read, I've read through it. It's actually quite a nice module. So it's designed for low level characters. So if I'm going to run it, this is going to be the only chance. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of it dovetails into the story quite well. So, all right. All right. So we'll later. See you later. Bye.